today is T-Day's birthday. He's 10 years old. <laughs> right? I wish I was 10 years old. Okay. Yeah. A little bit older than 10. 10 times 4. <laughs> and he's, got, he's working on his birthday. Can you believe he's working on his birthday? You're supposed to be out celebrating. <laughs> I'm walking. I'm walking and I went to hospital and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he went to get a checkup to make sure that he's healthy on his birthday. Wait to spend your birthday, he day. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> it's hot. It's hot in Vegas. Okay. Yeah. Well, come here. Time to work. It's time to come into Body Cafe and celebrate his birthday in another way because he don't really know that... Um, well, I'll tell you what. How about following us? Come on. Follow us. There's his daughter, Angel, and his other daughter, Suplore. <laughs> I'm joking. We always make fun of her the way we say her name. She'll say it for you. How do you say your name? It's Pilar. Pilar. Okay, oh, come on. She doesn't know how to say her name. Follow us. I want to come with you. Okay, his kids want to come with him. <laughs> What's going on? Oh. Yay! Yay! Oh my lord! <laughs> Open it! No, oh, hit, hit it! Hit it! Punch yeah. the punch, punch the balloon! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Wow! Very deep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! Thank you! <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> wow. Oh. Wow. Nice. You nice. No. Nice. <laughs> now you thank have you. to put it on. Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, these are really nice. Yeah. Wow. Well, nice. if you guys don't know, Hide wears a size 10, so anybody who wants to get Hide some new shoes, because he can stand for some new shoes, because he don't like to wash his shoes. He wears a size 10, right? Thank you. Who did you get those from? You guys, right? Who is you guys? Can you say who? Yeah, my daughters. No, it's not. I my daughters. I was, not for I was me. separate. I'm separate. Oh, you separate. Two more daughters, Rene and Destiny. Thank you. Thank you. What did I get you for your birthday? Where did I get you for your birthday? Uh, sandal. What kind? Oh, Gucci. Yeah, tell them. Gucci sandal. Gucci sandal. Lots of shoes. Where's my Gucci sandals, mommy? Thank you. Hey guys, who do you think uh, he is? I don't know. <laughs> Help us out. <laughs> Animal guy, Frank Macros. He just visit, visiting a body cafe in the city athletic. We have lots of celebrity every day, but he comes here because this is my birthday, right? Hey, yes, right. <laughs> today is Hide's birthday. Oh, it's your birthday today. It's your birthday today. You didn't tell Why me. Why are you playing like you don't know? I don't oh. know. <laughs> but I got comes. the gift in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, I'm a big fan of Frank for a long time because, see, I prepared this poster for a long time, like a year ago. Then he finally showed up. He was a sign. Thank finally, you, I showed up. Thank you, Frank. Finally, showed up on his birthday. Yes. So, uh, Frank been training in Venice, California for two years? Two years now, yeah. Now, the, uh, you plan to come to City Street? Yeah, I think I'm thinking about maybe moving to uh, to Las Vegas now. And um, I just the first time training here at this gym, and uh, it was an awesome gym. You know, it's not not too crowded the way I like it and stuff, and get get the job done. And the first person I ran into, the man himself, and the second, the woman herself. Uh, we know each other from competing a few times together, and I can tell you that I remember it was a it was a real honor of mine that I placed right after you, and I played. He beat me, I don't care, he's one of the best bodybuilders out there. And it was an honor just to be on stage with you and I appreciate it. And also, the best female bodybuilder in the world here. I mean, that's pretty crazy. I mean, it's the first time we've ever met. And, um, and to, um, thanks for your hospitality and having me here. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I actually disturbed him on his workout because I'm Miss Olympia, so I have that right to disturb him. He was doing chess and I just went upstairs and asked Rachel Lee for his picture. And you know what? He had no problem taking a picture with me for us to plaster him in our in, in body cafe. I appreciate we, it. We welcome him. He's a great guy. And believe it or not, all of you guys probably assume us athletes are into ourselves, which we are when we're getting ready for a show. But overall, we're great people. We love all of you out there. And don't stereotype us because we have a heart too. We love
love you for your support and all Maybe we do. Who we are, you know? Yeah, just take us for who we are and don't make assumptions. We're in Body Cafe. We want to welcome you guys all to Vegas. When you come in, put us on your bucket list. Come visit us. We got the great shakes in here. The Miss Olympia shake. Here we go. Frank is drinking the Miss Olympia shake. Look for these two guys on stage. They are taking a break right now, but stay tuned because they got a lot in store to share with you. Signing out at Las Vegas Body Cafe. Hey guys, it's Hide here, uh, Body Cafe. So, a Q&A. Happy birthday! Thank you. It's my birthday, by the way. Okay, let's get started. Q&A. First question. Hendrik Thomas asking me, what is the future of bodybuilding in Japan? Okay, bodybuilding is not like here in the States, in Japan. It's a, it's a very minor, I can say it's a more cult sports. But it's getting bigger because of the physique and the bikini. So uh, the future of bodybuilding in Japan is really bright. Matter of fact, I go there once a year for guest posing and uh, even judge the Japanese show. The quality of the athletes getting better and our show is getting bigger. So it's really bright. Second question. Uh, Johan, KO88, uh, asked me, uh, okay, what is it? Advice, oh, okay, advice for younger Asian or Asian American who want to pass bodybuilding. Okay. Uh, good advice is there is no race in bodybuilding. You know, if, if you're Asian, if you're uh, American, African American, if you're uh, Native American, it doesn't really matter. It's, you know, it's all about you. So if you, if you do 100% your effort every day, you're getting better little by little every day, then someday you get on the top. So don't give up, just pursue your dream Believe in yourself. It's not only for just Asian, you know, a bodybuilder. It's for everyone. But since you are asking uh, Asian, specific Asian, I gotta say there's no Asian, there's no nothing. So just bodybuilding, bodybuilding, muscle is muscle. So it's the same. So good luck to you. Okay, next question. Uh, his name is. C P H O U N S A V A T H. At what age did you start weight training? I started weight training when I was 16. Right? Then, next question. We Zed Mund. So many difficult names on Instagram. Okay. Uh, with your success in the, in the bodybuilder, will it have an effect to bodybuilding in Japan? I think so, I hope so. So uh, uh, let, me, let me tell you, when I uh, turned pro 2005, no one believed me if I could go to Olympia or even top 10 in a small show, like, you know, I am an invitational back then. So no one really believed in me. But I made it Olympia, I made it to Arnold Classic. I won Arnold Classic. So now all these young, you know, generation, they all believe they can be pro, they can go to Olympia, they can go Arnold. So I believe I have something, you know, I, I've done something to Japanese uh, bodybuilding industry. Next question. The Bissell Mission Missile Official. With the increasing pro progress and exposure of Asian bodybuilding, is there a future in Asian bodybuilding or is it going to remain a niche? Well, again, it's, uh, it's still a niche, but it's getting bigger and better. So future is really bright, okay? Okay, next question. NS Legend. How to train triceps? Uh, I do triceps uh, once a week or sometimes twice a week. Triceps 
uh, the one of the, one of the maths I really want to improve. So uh, I sometimes hit them uh, hit them twice a week. What I do is everything. You know, sometimes lots of left, sometimes heavy, sometimes you know lots of cable, free weight. It's mix up everything. So my training is not uh, only one way. I I do everything. I've been training 20 something years, so uh, I have tried a little, little bit of everything, so I just mixed up everything. So if you see my uh, YouTube channel, you can see some of my triceps training, okay? Uh, Sibal Sagar. He said he's, he has no question, just your biggest fan, best body in the world best bodybuilder in the world. Hope we get to see you once in a lifetime. I will see you soon. The next one, Younger Mister. Which bodybuilders did you look up to when you started training? Uh, when I started bodybuilding, that was an Dorian Yates era, uh, early 90s. So Dorian Yates was, was my uh, uh, not only mine, but also everyone's, you know, uh, dream body, dream athlete. So, you know, back then everyone uh, trying to train like Dorian, you know, in Japan, I'm, I, I'm pretty sure everywhere. So Dorian first. Then, I, more I know bodybuilders, I start, you know, liking like physique, like Sean Lay, uh, Rita Blada, uh, Lee Priest, because they are all, all my height. So all these guys I admire and I still, you know, admire them. Uh, next question. Uh, tai C Bones, Bruce Lee or Boryang? Uh, Bruce Lee, I, like, I love Bruce Lee. <laughs> of course, I love Boryang too. So both. Next question. Put some respect on my gains. Thank you. Are Asians in this advantage when it comes to bodybuilding? I am Asian descent and I find it very difficult to put on mass. Again, there is no race discrimination in bodybuilding. Anyone is saying muscle is all the same. Otherwise, you know, uh, the doctor if you go to the doctor and uh, they ask you, you know, you're Asian or you're Japanese or you're American, they don't do right, do, do it right, because it's all human bodies all same. So you have you you just have to be very patient because muscle muscle building is not happening one day. It's gonna it's gonna take you some time, sometimes ten years, sometimes fifteen years. All these guys, including me, training for at least 10 years to step on stage to descent, with decent shape. So uh, be patient and uh, believe in yourself, okay? Uh, next question. Michelle McCarthy, 007. What's your thought on whey protein versus vegan protein, like low, low protein? Vegan protein, whey protein, or oh, the protein powder, right? So uh, whey protein. Especially isolate, whey protein isolate is a complete uh, protein from animal source that's the obviously best uh, whey protein source for uh, muscle building. But vegan people, vegan people, vegetarian people, you guys have no choice, you know, they, you, you guys can't uh, take uh, whey protein. So you have to go with a vegan protein, like we have some in uh, Body Cafe too. They are very good quality too. You know, back, back in time, probably like a couple years ago, I wasn't sure there was a, you know, product with that much high quality, you know, the ingredients. But now they changed. Each year they changed. They, they are advanced, more advanced. So we have great vegan protein too. So check it out, Body Cafe. Next, C-K-L-L-M-A-N. Chikurman 97. How old were you when? How old were you when you won your first competition? Uh, my first w first win was a uh, uh, national Jap Japan national uh, courage. 
uh, it was uh, when I was 20. So that was my first, first win. And next one, G, 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 D, 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 T, G. Ask me, I'm interested in your favorite build, uh, bodybuilder. Uh, like I said, uh, Dorian Yates, Sean Ray, Lee Priest, Lee LaBlad. Of course, Rich Gaspari. Uh, next question. Divine the Letics. What's your mindset like when you are training? Uh, my mindset for training is be better than myself yesterday. So, you know, and anything, you know, I, I do must do must better than what I did uh, previous week. So uh, it can be weight, it can be, you know, reps, you know, it can be whole intensity, something else, you know, you have to be better little by little each day. Uh, how do you keep the water retention rebound that comes with post comp? This is from Tones Key. Uh, after the show, you have to, you must have some some kind of rebound from uh, because you you get really dry, you know uh, you make your uh, dehydrate before show in order to you know the the make your definition hard and deep. So uh, after the day of the show, usually show is on Saturday. So after the show, I eat whatever I want to eat treat myself, then a Sunday, uh, it depends on how, how, how much time I have uh, to next show. Probably Sunday I have a uh, cheat meal too. Then Monday I go back to close to zero carb diet. If you don't eat carbs, you don't hold water. So water, you, you start get rid of water, then a couple of days you'll be fine. Next question, Franco Cho. How do you motivate yourself to stick to your schedule, no matter what? Well, when I'm in uh, contest prep, 16 weeks out usually, uh, if you, you know, if you ever compete a show, you, you would understand you have to do on your schedule, you know, especially training on meals, or you don't get in shape. So as a professional bodybuilder, that, that's my job to win the show, to make money from the show, you know, to get the prize money uh, for sponsor, for everyone, you know, fans. So this is my job. So, you know, there is no way, you know, there is no room for cheating, you know. If you cheat, you don't get in shape and you don't win. So that's, uh, that's my answer. Okay. Question from UK Storm. How do you do the sprint? Well, uh, when I was a kid, I used to practice uh, martial arts. That was my first lap. So, uh, of course, you know, when you do martial arts, you gotta, you gotta be flexible. So, the dojo, when I go dojo, first thing I, we, have to do, we had to do is a stretch. You know, so I could do, when I was kids, I could do split all the way, you know, all the way down. But now I grow up, I still have some flexibility, but not like, uh, not like when I was uh, little, but I can still do some kind of sp split, you know, which you guys see uh, in my uh, free posing routine. That's, you know, how do I do it? That's uh, just practice. I still do a, a, a stretching before and after training. But again, it wasn't like, uh, uh, I was, I'm not that flexible as I was a kid anymore. Okay. Well, it's Adam, Adam L O, Adam Low Fitness. Thank you. What made you want to pursue bodybuilding? Well, first I started lifting weight because uh, I was playing rugby football in high school, and I wanted to gain weight in order to improve my uh, rugby football skill. Then I uh, noticed my body changing uh, quick and. Uh, much uh, drastic than other kids. So I thought, you know, I had something 
you know, to do with it. I have some, some you know, uh, talent maybe. Then after I graduated, I finished high school, then I entered college. Then I found the uh, uh, bodybuilding and powerlifting team in, in that school. That's when I really started, you know, like bodybuilding and powerlifting. Then the uh, uh, rest of the history. Next question. What was your exact routine when you first stand, started out lifting weights? Include rep and set schedule. Stop. This is a question from Stops Kimi. Well, that's uh, uh, my exact routine. It's, it's not really a change. You know, of course, I, I, I do more basic stuff back then because uh, the exercise, uh, I mean, equipment was uh, limited, much limited when I was started. Uh, but, you know, it's a basic routine, like, uh, for example, I, I can't tell you everything else, but for example, legs, you know, squat, leg press, leg extension, leg curl, stuff like that. So nothing fancy back then. Then I uh, set and reps, for like I, I, I was doing like 10, 10 laps, three, four sets for each exercise. Pretty basic, basic. Okay, so question from Jordan Palusa. What do you think is most important thing bodybuilding needs to do appeal to a wider audience? Good question, but uh, let me tell you, bodybuilding is not, not going to be like a baseball or a football. But it's always have a certain amount of fans like us, you know, a certain amount of athletes. So uh, it's not going to be, you know, disappear or anything, but it's not going to be uh, huge for sure. But, you know, that's what it is and uh, that's what we like, okay? Well, the bodybuilding, is, the problem bodybuilding is, is let me tell you, I, I, I got to be honest, it's, it's not, if, in, in, if you're in the audience, you get, uh, you get for a sleep because it's boring, it's too long. That's a problem, but uh, that's, uh, that's how it is. So I, I don't know how, how to make it better, but one thing I, I can tell is uh, bodybuilding is uh, uh, boring. Only Olympia and Arnold, I can, I can stay awake, but other show, I uh, fall asleep. Sorry. Okay, next question. She do Cardinal. Thank you. Overtraining? Uh, overtraining uh, is very difficult. What is overtraining? Uh, only you, you can know. Sometimes I... Uh, Okay, let's, let's say like this. In order to get too, too fatigued, you have to take a break before you feel really tired. So for example, like I do sometimes, two days on, two days on one day off, two days on one day off. But someday I, I, if I need extra break, I just take a break, you know? You don't need to force yourself to go to the gym. You should be, you know, feel energetic, and uh, feel powerful in the gym every time you go train. So if you force yourself to go to the gym, you can't do that kind of you know, uh, good training. So whenever you feel you, know, you gotta force yourself to go to the gym, take an extra day, extra day off. That's it. Then next question, Jim Co.co. Thank you. What's the one thing you absolutely love about being on social media and all that comes with it? And what's bad thing about it? Good question. Social media. Uh, good, thing, good thing about social media is you can you know, promote yourself. Let, uh, for example, even if you never compete Miss Olympia, even, even if you never be a pro, you can, you can still be uh, famous in the fitness industry. Back then, I feel old if I say back then, but you know, I've been competing so long. Back then, when I, 
when I turned pro, there wasn't so much social media. There was a little bit, maybe a little bit, but I didn't do it, and uh, I didn't, I didn't see anyone was doing it back then. So only media we could use was magazine, flex, muscle, muscle and fitness, muscle mag, all these uh, paper media. That's it. No YouTube. Maybe a little bit uh, DVD, but you know DVD. If you, when you make it and uh, when you when you sell it to the to the public, there is a time. You know there you have to take time, a couple months. You know, so uh, there is no real time social media. Okay, question from Captain Tong Hundred. What machines or training to train your abs? Okay, abs. I don't use any weight to train abs because uh, you don't want to make your waist bigger. Even muscle, once you, get, once you get the waist bigger, it's hard to uh, shrink it. So to me, uh, keep, keep the small waist is very important. So I think uh, most of them think same way. So that way, you just train abs with your body weight, okay? Uh, you can do crunch, you can do leg raise, you can do side crunch, you know, many variation, but not with weight. But here, super, very, very lightweight, high lap ab training. I don't know uh, this guy uh, named Netsfan02. I don't know how Netsfan02 means high lap, but I do high lap, probably like. Uh, I do circuit, like uh, crunch, leg raise, side crunch, uh, total, total 50, one cycle, not 50, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, one cycle would be 150 laps, then uh, two cycle. That's what I do as a warm up, so 300 laps every time I go to the gym. Next question, ramen suplex. What was the best ramen? Fried rice, tonkatsu you had in America, and what's the go-to food when you are in Japan? Okay, what is the ramen? Ramen is a Japanese noodle. Fried rice, fried rice, fried rice. Tonkatsu is a katsu. Ton is a pork, so pork katsu. Where, where, where is the best in America? I've been, I've been in Venice, California for a long time. So, only place I know it was uh, Mitsuwa, Mitsuwa supermarket. They have some restaurant in there. They are pretty good. So if you are in California, well, I think Mitsuwa is a whole, in a whole state, whole America. So if you know, if you have Mitsuwa close to you, Check them out. Uh, PT with JT Bla. Ask me, how has your training changed from over the years? I noticed you used to train very heavy from your old clips in Japan. But with Iris, you seem to be focusing on intensity with lesser weight. Yes, I was training you heavy uh, when I was younger. Then uh, I made the foundation from that kind of training. So I did a, a basic exercise, squat, you know, front squat, leg press, bench press, uh, dumbbell press, you know, bend over low deadlift, these exercises you know, as, as heavy as possible back then. But uh, now, I wish I could do that kind of training still, but uh, I'm getting, I mean, I, I don't want to say older. Today's my birthday, by the way. I'm, I'm turning 44. And uh, of course, uh, age is just a number. So I, I don't say any, every older, older guy cannot lift heavy, but since I've been lifting so long, so uh, my uh, joint worn out, right? It's like a, a car, if you drive, long enough time, you, some, someday you need to change the parts. I wish I could change my joint, but I can't. So that's why I have to change the, the training.
you know. I I I, I don't I really don't can lift heavy anymore because or I, I will injure. That's why I use lesser weight and uh, you know use a different technique to increase the intensity. Okay. Lays and four ninety eight. Got any tips on how to get more vascular? Vascularity is the more you have muscle, you get more vascularity. So it's it's kind of take time. You know, I wasn't this vascular when I started. So you know, the year after year, you get you get you get add you get to add muscle, then you get more vascularity, right? So Lene from Lene Marvin. My manager here in Body Cafe. How many pairs of pajamas do you have? I heard you have some potato shirts. <laughs> potato is your favorite carb sauce. Do potato taste better while wearing potato shirts? <laughs> okay. Well, I. I mean, uh, I don't have any pajamas. I wear just shirts and uh, and uh, shorts. Uh, which is uh, which is ne not not really necessary pajama, just uh, regular shirts. Then a potato shorts. Yes, I do. Somebody gave gave it gave them to me uh, uh, my birthday when I was in Japan. Then uh, I, if I like a potato for carb, I don't really eat potato. To be honest with you, I eat rice. Then uh, potato tastes better while wearing potato shorts. I guess so. Okay, next question. The Shake Star, my friend. What's your favorite Japanese restaurant in Las Vegas? It's on West Sahara Oishi. That sushi restaurant is incredible. It's close from here, City Athletic, so check it out. Do you prefer uh, this uh, uh, Pilar? Uh, right here, right there, Pilar, you're asking me a question. Do you, do you prefer five toe socks or regular socks? Let's see your socks. I, I prefer toe socks for sure. I, I'll show you. Yes, yeah, he? Here. <laughs> toe socks, right there. The, the reason why I, I use this because I I believe, I believe your food, your food is uh, very important. It's it's a lot to do with your health and uh, your everything. Then uh, your yeah, your toe is 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 uh, how you say it. It's like uh, like this. It's really bad. It's your foot is tired, then you are tired. So I prefer like it's kind of like a barefoot, right? So your feet to mm, that's my idea, to, to use yeah. this toe socks. Then uh, does it make a difference why I'm walking out? Yes, it does. They look comfy when I see them on your feet. Does the type of sock help protein synthesis or nitric oxide production? For sure, it does. Then... Question from my friend Ken, Hawaii boy Ken. How do you choose your posing music? I actually never heard So Far Away and I believe in you, but put in on my iPhone after your routine using it. Good. So uh, it's very important to have impressive music for your posing routine. I would say 90% of your uh, posing is from uh, music. I mean, uh, if you want to impress audience by your uh, pre-posing, uh, I think 90% is comes from uh, music. You know, if you think about it, if you're sitting sitting in the audience and uh, uh, watch guys posing, and uh, if you uh, start listening, some something you you know, some music you know, you get excited easily. Or you hear something you never listen to it. You don't really get it. You know, you, you get kind of bored. So it's very important to have some popular music 
And next, you have to have music suits your personality. So me, I pose uh, like uh, uh, aesthetic, you know, I pose a uh, little uh, choreography. So I like to uh, have dra drama, you know, go up and down drama, right? But some guys, like big guys, they don't need that. They just need a powerful music. So uh, it's, you know, it has to suit, suit to your style. What tips do you have for these new young stars in the bodybuilding fitness community? What's something you like them to do in return? Okay. So, uh, you know, when you're young, I, I had the same problem. You tend to, you know, do everything quick. You want to result tomorrow. But I found it out, you know, it's, it's, it's not going to go that way. It's going to take some time to see the result. So be patient, just take day by day, take contest by contest, don't look too far away, just you know, focus on today, focus on today, what you can do best today, then I enjoy the process. That's the advice I can give to you. Next question. Uh, Stanley Nong. Stanley Wong, what's your current goal? Do you do anything drive you being the greatest Asian bodybuilder? What's my current goal? Okay, uh, good question. Current goal. Uh, if you're talking about bodybuilding, uh, I want Arnold, so it must be Olympia. Then uh, outside of bodybuilding, probably business, this body cafe. So I want to make it better for you guys. Okay, next question. Money muscle church. When you go low carb during contest prep, energy level drops fast. What do you do to get your body moving and stay focused every day? Big fan of yours from Korea. Thank you. So when I go low carb, of course, I feel a little weak. But maybe it or not, if you go zero carb and uh, uh, you have uh, enough essential fatty acid, two, three days after, you feel actually energetic. You don't feel much hunger and uh, uh, fatigue anymore. So uh, if you go low carb, sometimes it's harder. <laughs> so when I, go, when I have to cut down carbs, I prefer. Sometimes, you know, sometimes I, I, I do different way, but uh, I prefer go zero carb and uh, add uh, more fat in the diet. Protein stays the same all the time. So if you need to go super low carb, try zero carb and add more fat, okay? Uh, how do I bring my glutes in so condition? It's all diet. And uh, when you squat, you make sure you go deep enough. Squat or leg press, so you can put the uh, muscle on your glutes. How often do you cheat meal? How often do I cheat meal? Right now, uh, pretty much uh, every weekend I go, not, not really cheat, but uh, I eat carbs. Uh, I, I answered the previous question. Uh, right now I'm kind of uh, low carb, I mean uh, zero carb, and I'm more fat to stay in shape. Right now I'm taking a real break because of my shoulder injury. I, uh, today's my birthday, by the way, but uh, I went to doctor to this morning because my shoulder uh, bothering me so too much, so I, I couldn't take it anymore. So uh, I don't know what's going on with my uh, shoulder yet, but it's been almost a year being like this, so uh, it's, not, it's not something uh, easy. It's, it's going to be a little, you know, it's going to take time to heal, so I'm taking a little off. I mean, not really off, but... The, uh, taking it easy, everything. So I'm, I'm zero carb, high, I mean, uh, medium fat, high protein, Monday to Friday, then uh, Saturday, Sunday, I eat carbs, okay? Uh, is it true that the higher repetition means more muscle growth? Which repetition would be better? 30, 20, 10, or just simple 10 to 12? Well, answer is everything works body adapt 
okay. In the textbook, eight to 12 reps is, a, uh, is, a, is the best to muscle growth, to put on mass. But body adjust, adapt, you know, in, uh, in some day. So you have to trick, keep tricking your brain. In order to do that, you have to mix up everything. Sometimes go lightweight and a lighter weight, higher reps. Sometimes go heavier, less set. I mean, less less reps. So mix up everything. Don't don't you know train same way all the way. If you don't see result, if you see result with one 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 level training, that's fine. You know, sometimes you know the, the some guys train same whole you know 10 years, 20 years, still see the result. That's that's how they are. That's fine. Okay. Kung calls. Where are you going to visit Australia? When? I just was there. I was there a couple months ago. Next time, I hope soon, but uh, I don't know at this moment. So, Hiram, yeah, zero. High reps or heavy load? Everyone is confused. Everyone is confused according to science. Heavy load to gain fat, twitch fiber, but pro save even you can gain with light if you apply time under tension mess up. Again, you have to mix it up, okay? Wow, so Ivan's fitness. If you can pick top five bodybuilders together, including yourself to make perfect physique, who would it be? Okay. Um, you know what? The, the best physique I ever seen by by my eyes was Ronnie Coleman. I, okay, I never, I, I never had a chance to, you know, watch the guys uh, 90s, right? Because uh, I was in Japan. But you know, after uh, 2005, when I came here, I watched almost all these guys on the stage. I was on the stage together while I watched them. Then I think Ronnie Coleman was the best physique, you know, I ever witnessed. Okay. Of course, there are a bunch of uh, physique, great physique, but the Ronnie Coleman had everything, you know? Okay. How do you mentally recover from the disappointment such as being champion of the Arnold Cross Pressing 6 in just one year? Does it take its toll on your uh, uh, quitting or retiring? Lip Van Dang, Lip, Lip Van Dinkel. Thank you. Yes, it's, it's hard, you know, but you gotta remember bodybuilding is, is not something you can do once you're on stage. It's all about judges. So you, whatever the result, you know, outcome, out, whatever the outcome is, whatever the result is, you have to accept it. Of course, the day of the show, night of the show, you feel angry or, you know, you feel even, uh, yeah, you feel disappointed, even angry, but, uh, you know, a few days, then uh, you, you'll be fine. Okay, this is, this is a question from George. George, how are you? I think of you, I pray for you. Get better, okay? Okay, George. George's question, who is the best coach you ever worked with? I worked with George, of course. I worked with uh, a couple guys, uh, Neil, Eric, and uh, of course, 10 time Mr. Olympia, Iris Kyle, and uh, uh, Miros, uh, Patrick right now. So uh, I'm, I'm really fortunate enough to work with uh, all these uh, incredible, incredible coaches. Uh, of course, George, uh, uh, I, I want to say George, but you know, everybody's great, actually. That's why I, I've, been, I've been in shape you know, all the time. So uh, thank you for all you guys. And uh, George, thank you for taking your time to ask me a question. I know you're you're, you're in hard time, but uh, everybody's praying, praying for you, and uh, I believe 
every, and everyone believes you come back stronger. So uh, see you soon. Then, so next question. Ongra Pai, what do you prepare yourself before the show? Mentally eating, nar nar, uh, et cetera. Uh, how do I prepare yours, myself? Well, it's, uh, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> 16 weeks, I do diet, uh, strict diet. I do training. Most of the time, 16 weeks out, I train you know, as long as I, I can. I mean, uh, sometimes seven days a week, no less. Sometimes and then I, I get tired, sometimes I take a break you know, here and there, but I don't really schedule off. I just keep training you know, as much as I can. And then cardio, uh, some season I, I, I just need uh, 20 minutes, you know, even less, 15 minutes cardio. Some season I need one hour cardio. So it it's all depends on your condition. So I, it, it's hard to, hard to tell you here, you know, all my uh, preparation, what I do, but uh, uh, I can say this, it's, it's, it's always changing, you know. Maybe uh, yesterday I did high carb, today maybe low carb. It all depends on your condition. Okay, then uh, next question. Slovakian warrior princess. Uh, hi, my friend. When do you plan to visit Florida again? Uh, actually, we are going to Florida, Tampa, uh, in July. So that's the uh, next trip, next uh, uh, planned trip to Florida. Then uh, what's your favorite place to visit? Uh, I've been fortunate enough uh, to be in many, many places in all over the world. but. Uh, of course, Japan is my home country, so Japan is one place I feel really relaxed and uh, peace. And uh, another place, actually, I actually really liked uh, uh, Madrid when I competed uh, Arnold Classic Madrid. Uh, I feel I feel like home, you know, Madrid. I don't know why. Of course, I uh, uh, Venice, California. That was my uh, home long time. I love to be there, Las Vegas. Right now I'm, ro I'm, I'm here in Las Vegas. That's a great place. So, but I would say Japan, Madrid, Venice. The, these three places. How do you maintain your look for so many years without injury and fatigue? Uh, Jamie Brisk, thank you. Well, actually I, I just, I, I told you I have an injury here shoulder, then uh, believe it or not, I have uh, uh, not, the main, not the major injury, but uh, little injury here and there all the time. It's the same, you know, same to everyone. If you compete at the pro level, you have to sacrifice something, and uh, most of the time it's injury, you know, here and there. So it's, it's, it's never be really 100%. I don't really remember when was the last time I was, I, I could say I was really 100 percent, you know, but that's how it is, so uh, I just do whatever I have to do, right? Uh, in order to maintain my uh, physique, it's all about training a diet, then uh, mostly diet, because training, you know, uh, everyone watching my YouTube, you know, I believe you guys like training, but the dieting is the key to stay in shape. So next one. JLE2, would you give the open class another try or plan to stay in 212 for good? Well, I want to do actually one open class uh, next time I compete. So stay tuned. Pip Daddy 74, I'm a 43 years old man and I, he's five feet one tall. Who wants to get, want, get back to in shape? What advice can you give me? And do you think it's too late for me? Well, I'm telling you, uh, age is just a number, so it's never too late. Then uh, five, feet, five feet one, uh, height is not a problem neither. Then, uh, okay, what advice can I give you? Uh, uh, figure out what kind of diet, diet uh, suits you, you know. Most of the people, 
want to get back to in, be in shape, uh, I advise try to keto diet, uh, which I just told you guys, zero carb, medium fat, high protein. This diet sounds like really hard, sounds, uh, uh, sounds uh, hard to uh, keep doing it, but actually if you can maintain two, three days, after that it, uh, you f start feeling like uh, uh, even have more energy, uh, you get in shape quick. So uh, try keto di diet, okay? Uh, what was your relationship with NASA or somebody? Kylie, Kai Lyons, 98. Uh, actually, I never, never met him. I never ever talked to him. Uh, it's a shame, I, you know, because I came in to sports after he retired. So uh, uh, I, 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 I never have a chance to, you know, associate with him. Okay, so George Trusso, where do you see bodybuilding going in the next five or ten years? As knowledge, technology, and science advance, what direction heights do you see the sports going? Okay, I think uh, bodybuilding comes close to uh, a limit. Uh, look at these guys like uh, Big Lamy or Lori Winkler. These guys are huge and are lipped. I don't know if he can be bigger than those guys. These guys are close to uh, uh, 300 pounds and uh, fairly lipped, right? So it's, uh, and uh, uh, that's, that's the re one reason why uh, IBB create a classic bodybuilding, because guys are getting so huge. So now they need some, uh, some division uh, uh, even a little smaller, but more conditioning and a more like a posing, aesthetic kind of uh, 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 division. So I think the uh, the sport is not not gonna be changed so much. But of course, you know, you never know. Probably, you know, the, some guys uh, can be can be lipped uh, with 320 pounds on the stage. You never know. Okay. How long have I played in bodybuilding? Any plan of retirement? I hope not. Well, I, uh, I have one thing I want to do in bodybuilding, uh, which is Mr. Olympia. Uh, but other than that, I think I have done everything. So, uh, or even if, you know, I, or let's say I had, I got, big injury or I got an uh, accident or even I die today, I don't have any regret. So, uh, but, you know, I, I want to do one thing again, Mr. Olympia, but at the same time, I feel like I've done everything, okay? That's, uh, that's how I feel right now. Okay, next question, Stephen Bravo 23. Who is the best coach you have ever worked with? And also, what does your diet look like off-season compared to prep? Okay, uh, I answered this question. Uh, I worked with so many great guys. And uh, uh, like I said, everyone is different. Every coach was different, but every, everyone worked with me uh, just fine, just, uh, just perfect. That's why I've been competing so long with... Uh, uh, perfect, con almost perfect condition every time I step on the stage. Okay. Okay. Next question. Uh, Dario, Dario Grow. Which coach you think got well with and why? Same question. I guess uh, you guys are very interested, uh, interested in uh, the coach and uh, guru. Uh, next question. Bold Prince Law. Having a hard time recovering from intense workout. What gives? Sleep. You need to sleep. And you need to eat. <laughs> then if you, have, uh, if you still have fatigue, feel fatigue, you got to take an extra day off. Right? 
when do DKK90, when doing a contest prep, what source of carbs and protein do you prefer? For example, sweet potato and chicken breast. Uh, carbs, I like rice and a sweet potato. Protein, I, I try to have a, a variation, like chicken, uh, turkey, uh, white fish, egg white, of course, protein powder. Uh, try to have a different uh, protein source in uh, each meal, right? Can you do a back flip if you, if so, do it in your YouTube video? That guy, Jay, sorry, I cannot. Then uh, Angel, your question, what other ways do you do cardio with your dog, Sakura? <laughs> Sakura, I have, a, I, have a, I have a big dog, 100 pounds. His name is Sakura. I just walk him uh, every day, one hour or more. That's, uh, that's his exercise. And uh, that would be my cardio. But you know, since I do it every day, so uh, I, I think my body adjusted, so I don't, I don't count it as a cardio. But I, we go every day anyway. He, he, he needs exercise. And uh, other way, he does uh, swimming too. Uh, I, we go swimming once a week. He loves swimming. That's his hobby. So uh, we do swimming. I mean, I, I don't swim, but uh, he does swimming uh, 30 minutes a week. OK, that's it for today. Again, I appreciate all you guys take your time to ask, ask me a question. And uh, I hope you got the right answer. Then uh, you can use it. You use some of my answer to your training or to your nutrition from today. Thanks again, guys. See you soon.